Um, I've talked about the training, I've talked about the Germany thing already. Little things like IIP, investors and people. We did this in 2007. Uh, I kind of thought, well, you know, we're already doing this. We're, we're kind of doing it already, we're doing the basics. But actually what it gave us was great structure because we were doing a lot of the good stuff well, but we weren't really doing it in a structured mannerism. So this actually gave us really good structure to come and address our business. And it kind of tied it all together. Why are we doing the training? How's it tie into our business plan? How's it tie into our strategy? And it made a full circle of everything. So it's actually very, I would recommend anyone to do that. If you aren't already doing it, I would recommend it. Yeah, very good. Um, passion, enthusiasm for the job, it is absolutely at the top of everything. If you haven't got passion, go and do a job in banking or go and be a finance person or I don't care, just get out of tourism because actually if you aren't passionate about it, there's no point in being here, there really isn't. Um, uh, as a tourist, think about being a tourist. You come to any venue, whether it's my venue, your venue, whatever, and someone meets you and they've had a few beers or they're a bit down because they've fallen out with the missus or the husband, whatever it is, you will pick up on it immediately and it will ruin your day. Bear that in mind, okay? Because that's you've got to, got to roll, roll reverse occasionally and see how, it's, how the visitor experiences it. And if there is an issue or there's something going on in your site, make sure there's ownership of the visitor experience. It's been a really important thing for the people to take on in my team in the last year. And so far, they don't always do it. Of course, they're not always going to do it. But generally, they'll now step up the mark far more than they would before. You still get occasional people who just like you know run around like mad things and try and find someone. That's fine, as long as they come and find the person to deal with it, I don't mind, but at least take ownership of it. Engage with every visitor and going the extra mile. It doesn't take much to go and ask that lady who's sitting down looking a bit frail to get her a glass of water. It's not in your job description anywhere, but just do it anyway. Um, it, you know, I, I guess I, I stand to be counted. Um, I'll give you a good example. I was going home about three weeks ago and a couple, young couple, were walking down. We've got a, sort of a, a mile, a half a mile road going away from our place. And it goes nowhere our place. We're sort of half a mile outside Creef. And uh, it was kind of like a night, night of tonight, it was raining. And uh, I thought, where are they going? So I stopped and I said, do you want a lift? They said, oh, we're just going to the end of the road to catch a bus. I said, oh, where's your bus? Oh, about 20 minutes. And I said, right, where are you going? Comrie. I was like, oh, damn. Sterling's that way, Comrie's that way. <laughs> I was like, jump in, folks, I'll give you a lift home. And so they were staying at a hotel in Comrie, whatever, and I kind of took them around. And they were saying, on your way home? I said, yeah, yeah, they're thereabouts, don't worry. But you know, for them, it was kind of like, I, I don't know how good it is. Well, I do know because I spoke to them, but they had a great day anyway. But this, I think, just topped it off them because it meant they weren't standing in the rain 15 minutes. It's a five-minute detour for me. It was no big deal. But it's that little extra mile. makes takes nothing to do it. Um, happy fun. Uh, ha uh, having fun. Happy staff, happy customers. It all rubs off. Um, think about it next time you're, um, you're going to any experience or you're in a hotel, or even tonight, go into the bar and see if the staff are happy. If they're not happy, then it kind of has an effect on you. Well, you're probably okay because you're a group, but if me walking into the bar on my own tonight and they're not happy, I'll pick up on that and I'll go and get paper and sit down. If they're happy and start engaging with me, that'll make my night and they'll think, oh, chat that person, great, great, great. Okay, attract the right people, um, those who have potential progress, I've already talked about that. We have a really thorough induction program. Um, before someone arrives, I want to know what role they're gonna be doing, we put them in a two-week induction program. They will focus on their core area, um, but then they'll get training around the whole site as well, so they get a feel for the business. Uh, it doesn't matter whether they're in the bar, they'll still do a tour, they'll still go and work in the shop, they get a feel for the whole site as a whole. Um, passport success is what we use, it's a very, it, it's an internal thing, um, it might be right for your business, but it's a kind of like a, a Bible about our business. It gives them all the information they need to know, it's a self-learn type thing, they take it home, um, it's self-assessment, so they go through sections and they sort of do multi-choice, so they hopefully get to know the content, and it's done at their own pace, but it allows us to make sure that those people have all got consistency, consistency in their knowledge, consistency in their approach, and they're working through things in a way we want to, you know, the knowledge they have is, is sufficient for what the, the job we're asking them to do. Is it, so is that, is that for your for Black Grouse experience, or is that for the wider... For the famous, it's for the famous Grouse experience, that's for the famous Grouse, you've been drinking, haven't you? Know. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the famous... <laughs> It's the famous grouse experience, but it gives information about how Glentura, and it gives information about how the... It does talk about the grouse brand, so it talks about how it came to be, so there's history about the brand. And, you know, someone says, you know, where did the brand start? And it talks about the Glogue family, who you know, were our sort of founders. So it will talk about all that kind of stuff as well, but it is kind of focused, it's like walk the walk, talk the talk, that kind of stuff. Okay. Actually, it would, actually, that's not fair. It does talk about McAllen and Highland Park as well, so it gives people all the information they need to know, but the more detailed stuff is about the experience. Of course, we do external training, um, and you know, at the end of the day, I'm trying to give my team uh, skills which hopefully they'll keep within our business, but ultimately they may go externally. Um, but internal training, so let's look at what our team needs. So uh, we, we put a big a group of our team, oh, sorry, my retail manager decided that she, she came on board, 
great person, fantastic. She came off the ships, off the high seas, and she can tell a story or two. Um, but it's brilliant because she brought in some great ideas and passion, real passion to the role. Um, uh, wobbling glasses, best thing ever. If you ever had the experience, go and buy a wobbly glass. They're off the ships. You can't spill your dram. They have a round bottom, so they can't actually fall over. It's brilliant. Um, but she decided she was going to give her team and the wider group um, sales training. Do you sell them in the shop? Yeah. Brilliant. Two ninety nine. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Sale. Um, interim reviews, annual reviews, corporate stuff. I know you had a corporate session today. It is corporate stuff, but it's very important stuff. The important thing there is the one-to-one -one discussion. It's a chance for you to sit down. How often do you actually sit down with your staff for an hour and a half? And one-on-one. -on -one. Very, very rarely, probably. Um, fantastic to do, and it forces you to do that. I mean, I sit down, I'll, I'll have passing 30-second conversations with all my staff. I'll walk the floors and all the rest of it, but I'll never sit down and have a really good conversation with the majority of them. So it's great for managers to do that. River Crossing I've spoken about. Why? Retain the staff. Of course I want to keep them in business. I'm investing heavily in them, 20% of my profits every year back into them. I want to retain them. Um, it motivates them. It gives us the edge over our competitors. I truly, truly believe that. I really do. It stands us apart. Um, I've got Tullibarden 10 miles down the road. I've got Dewar's another 50 miles up the road. I've got 50 other, 58, whatever other distilleries all around Scotland. They're all doing a fantastic job. We have the highest number of five-star attractions in Scotland as distilleries. Um, so I've got, I've got a lot of competition out there. But I've got to keep my team and my staff engaged. Um, I've talked about the culture, the ethos, the philosophy, the right people delivering the right you know, experience to my customers. Um, and I've got you know, absolute comfort that they're going to be doing that seven days a week. Um, I talk about consistency. It's very easy to provide five-star service occasionally. It's very hard to do it every day. And let's say, I get it wrong. We do get it wrong. I'll be the first to say that we get it wrong. And we have days when it's just not quite all flowing as it should do. We have other days when it goes brilliantly. We had uh, 13 coaches in uh, about a week and a half ago. And I was like looking on paper going, this is going to be a day from hell. It just went so well. They all turned up on time instead of arriving half an hour early. Um, they all stayed for when they were supposed to stay. It was just a constant <coughs> flow. We were staffed up correctly. No one called in sick. Brilliant. Day, day to remember. Uh, one team, one common goal. Everyone needs to know what the goal of the business is. It's not all about the bottom line. It's not all about the top line. It's, you know, it's a whole host of things, but ultimately everyone knows it's about the customer experience. It's on their badge and it's drilled into them and we talk about it. We talk about it through newsletters. We talk about it through monthly you know, feedback sessions, whatever. It's all there. Um, of course, I want to become an employer of choice. I live in Creef. Uh, sorry, I work in Creef. I live in Stirling. Uh, I work in Creef uh, in the middle of nowhere, a bit like I'm sure many of your sites. It's not easy to get the right people in and you have a small catchment area. So when you do get them, you want to make sure you hold on to them. Um, but you know, we have to become an employer of choice. We have to stand out as an employer of choice so people want to come and work for us. Um, talked about putting the visitor at the heart of everything we do. It's absolutely fundamental. And all of that kind of you know, leads to a well-balanced team and hopefully motivates the staff. Gosh, that's quite nasty as well. Um, but hopefully it motivates the staff. Uh, and that ultimately, as I said, happy staff, happy customers, it does all flow through.